Hello, Internet. This is the root. Oh, yeah. If you don't really care to notice, I'm using a different camera. It's rather old, but it does the job very well. In bright environments, it, well, looks like this. In dark environments, it's grainy, it's shit, and adjusting the focus ring does not do fuck all, but... Regardless, I'm just going to leave the light on because it makes no sense to even shut it off. Otherwise, it'll be grainy and dingy again. Anyways, I uh, just want to talk a bit about the uh, post-election thing, if you're curious about it. I don't really care about politics or anything like that. And if you probably noticed, my voice is a bit different. It kind of changed when I got an infection that was uh, a bit viral, bothering my throat, almost led to ammonia and a high fever and that. I talk, discussed that previously and it was a bit stupid for me to not think about going to the hospital four days prior. <coughs> so my voice kind of actually changed, it got a bit higher, it's more shallower, more, let's just say a bit more raspy, but regardless it doesn't really matter too much, I'm still here. And, uh, I gotta say a few things. I was shocked that actually Tory won a second term as mayor. That's actually pretty good. I'm not sure if there's any others that had a second or third term as the same mayor of Toronto in general. I haven't done much research on that. Probably not. And, uh, well, because of pre algamation there probably wasn't that many. I don't know. Probably one in one region, but whatever. This is uh, rather long past that. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit surprised. And uh, in my ward, there was supposed at least uh, eight candidates that were supposed to uh, fit in. And thanks to Dougie's uh, consolidation of the wards, which is, I just can't come to agreement on that. They caused a lot of fierce competition and rather fights. Well, you know, fights in general. It didn't work out too well and, uh... Mm -hmm. uh well, Frances won it again. She's, uh, Queen of Ward 5, I should say. Mamalee's out. Uh, at least three of them are out. Frank Giorgio, Giorgio Mamalee, and, uh, this other lady, I can't really remember her name too well because she's not in our ward, but whatever. And, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> at least we got two, at least we got a clown that's out. We got a coach that's out. So, things could possibly be, uh, better, but who knows how many years and how many things in four years it's going to be. And who knows how they're going to redo the cycling coalition, like, how they're going to make the streets much safer and that. Oh, boy. There's so many pressing issues in this city that, uh, it's just impossible to keep track of, you know? Just impossible. But anyways, that's my thoughts. Good luck on, Fr good luck for Francis, and, uh, good luck to John Tory. Hopefully, uh, he still remains a great mayor. I got nothing, nothing against him. He just uh, talks a lot and doesn't really bend to change that much. But maybe, well, maybe with a bit of encouragement, we can actually push him to change. I don't know. Okay, I would actually like to meet him in person, though. That'd be one thing to meet every mayor of the city that ends up being there. I'm just glad, uh. That white supremacist, uh, Faith Goldie didn't get in. It was frightening that she got at least 20,000 votes despite, yes, I read this online, being shut out of most of the, uh, candidate meetings. And while I attended a few of those, uh, attended one meeting, because, uh, in between work and that, I only had enough time to attend one. Uh, and I wasn't aware of the rest, which was a bit surprising. Maybe because I wasn't actually keeping up to date on these things. And also, yeah, through the work, it was making it impossible. One of her, uh, uh, 
supporters interrupted a rather civilized meeting and likely infiltrated it, bringing 30 of his followers in. And that caused a lot of problems, and they had to be ejected from that forum. There is an outtake of that, anyway. And you'll hear them start shouting that. It's terrible. The final last guy, they got him out. I don't know who the hell it was, but... He was yelling some pretty awful things, and I'm glad I actually... I'm not going to repeat that, but... If you do check out that outtakes video, you'll actually hear what he was saying, and... It's hard to actually put it, though. I couldn't decipher a fucking word he was saying, to be honest. I could not understand a word he was saying, because of how far away he was, and overall, the whatever he was shouting in such a high, scratchy voice. I don't know if anyone else could uh, even recognize or even uh, decipher what he was saying, but I'm not going to say what he was saying, because it was disgusting and horrible. Anyways... A city needs good mayors, not ones that try to push out visible minorities. That's all I gotta say. Uh, that's about all. I'm gonna try and get more videos made. It's just gonna take time, you know? And plus, uh, with the world coming up, that's next week. The move-in part, and then the actual royal, and then the week after, I'm gonna be booked up with work. And that's gonna make it hard for me to actually get videos done. So, yeah, not an easy task. Plus, I'm going to be working outside this time, so hopefully I don't catch a cold or something like that. That'll suck. But anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out, and feel free to subscribe. And yes, it really sucks shit to start fresh. But if you check out diddler.com forward slash channel forward slash root brian, you'll find every single video I ever uploaded. It's all there. It's also on Daily Motion. So, uh, yeah, not always lost. Except their uh, length and file size limits are a bit funny. Daily Motion, regardless, whoever's on there, even their partner, whatever, it's limited to an hour. Some videos that were beyond an hour couldn't be put on there. So, yeah, like meetings and that. Anyways, cheers.